Hello, Alex. For this week's Manny, I promise I won't talk about vampires, and I also won't make any bad ideas, hey, about cutting my hair. Although, your hair experiment went really, really well, so maybe not a bad idea, hey, after all. <laughs> I kind of feel like I have to add hey after the word bad idea now, even though I'm really not quite nailing the tone of the song. But anyway, instead I'm here to draw a jellyfish, which you may have figured out by now. Um, maybe not, I don't know if it's really obvious at this point that I'm drawing anything that's a, a thing that exists in the world, maybe at all. It's a lot of lines, it's a lot of blue, this is gonna be a blue fish. Um, admittedly, I didn't really plan anything to say here, and so I'm just sort of talking to fill the space. It's been a little bit since I've drawn a fish at this point. Lately, every time I try to draw, I just sort of wind up spending a lot of time putting colors in weird shapes and blobs and curvy bits on pages. And sometimes I think, hey, this is going to turn into something. And sometimes it does, but mostly it just turns into, like, I don't know. I guess maybe that makes it abstract art, but I don't know. Whenever you start talking about, like, labels for art, that makes it feel really intentional, when that's not necessarily what I'm doing either. Intentionality in art is one thing that gets really complicated, I feel like. But I do intend to draw these jellyfish, like this one. She's coming great. She's going great so far. Um, but yeah, I got a new notebook that is all white. The whole thing sort of just looks like a bunch of stapled together papers and I thought that made it the perfect spot for me to draw something on and actually make this notebook, you know, look the way I chose. Um, and I really couldn't think of what else kind of captures my whole, like, artistic vibe lately other than jellyfish. So I wanted to do kind of a practice one before just jumping into starting on the notebook because colored pencils are a little erasable, but not a lot. <laughs> so nice to have kind of a, a warm-up, I guess, and get back in the feel for drawing these fish. I've kind of been wondering if part of the reason I like the fish so much is that, like, they are sort of along the lines of the kinds of things I draw when I just start putting colored pencils on paper and not, you know, having an intention. Or at least they share a lot of, like, the major features, like, they're sort of a color study, right? Because I've picked a theme of colors or a family of colors, and I'm just sort of using those and seeing how they look together and just trying different ones out and trying to blend. Sometimes it works better than others. Eh, you know, it's not, it's not necessarily going great for this fish, but the, the nice thing about just various shades of blue is it's really sort of difficult to, to make out clearly where one color starts and one doesn't. Um... <laughs> The other thing is there's just lots of like twisty, like curvy organic shapes, which is another thing that sort of just happens a lot without me trying. And the main th whole thing of the jellyfish is just, yeah, putting together shapes and types of lines I like making into something that looks vaguely like a jellyfish. Because I'm going to be honest, like there's probably no actual jellyfish that look like my fish. I... I mean, maybe there are. There's a lot of fish. There's a lot of jellyfish. There's so many fish we don't even know about. The ocean is insane. <laughs> I'm listening to the newest, newest, actual newest Adventure Zone arc now, where they're all, like, underwater in a weird magic poisoned ocean. It's, uh, just, you know, just started, so I don't, I don't know too much about it yet, only that very excited by the chaotic ocean vibes and very much appreciative, as you might imagine. But I don't know, when you go to make things, do you feel like there's a kind of thing you just sort of naturally find yourself drawn to make? Um, or is it different for you? Or does it kind of come and go? I've been thinking a little bit lately about how like some things I watch or read or listen to kind of like make me want to make art in some format of my own. And some just like don't have that effect at all. Even some things I really like don't give me ideas ideas or like make me actually feel like picking up pencil and paper or whatever it is to actually 
make something. And I, I really, I wonder, I don't know. I have, even though I've been thinking about it for a little bit now, I still haven't put my finger on what it is about things that I find like actually inspiring, I guess is the word. That sounds so cheesy. And like, to be honest, I don't, I don't even act on these like urges to make things that I, that I get nearly as much as I used to when I was younger or like, I would if I were going to be like a proper creative person but you know every once in a while something really like just I don't know tunes into my brain and like hits it at the right frequency and just makes me want to make things do you have things like that do you actually have any ideas about like why that happens if it happens for you I don't know lots of art thoughts but nearing the end of this video and ah a completed fish I hope you like it. I like her. Bye for now, Alex.